Pa with the Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. What is this arena? This is an arena for Turkey. Uh, again, I don't speak Turkish. I'll butcher it, but it's called the Gekmis Olsun Turkey Arena is what it's called. Uh, things were to see car for the five months. Uh, my wife left to buy cigarettes. Please underscore Kara just subscribed. My wife left to buy cigarettes since four days. I wait for her by looking at your stream smiley face. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, dude. I don't. I don't know what you want me to say. Um. <laughs> things for Scotty or the 14th. They have Verlin and Trashy for the tier one. Um, just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. All the best. And Thank sorry you. to hear about your loss last week. Okay, yeah, it, it, it happens. Um, okay, you guys. Uh, anyway, we're going to be playing this arena starting in two minutes. Just subscribe. Thank you to Jay Shaper for 33. Thank you so much to Tyke Crumpin for the three months. For three months. Thank you. Deep boop, I'm a bot. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for her to come back after four days. Uh, it, it happens. All right, so starting in three minutes, you guys, this is, of course, an arena to uh, being put together by Chesscom. TR, which of course is just calm, Tur Jay Turkey. Schaefer so, subscribed. Good oh, it means get well soon. Okay, it means get well soon. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be playing this arena. Anish Giri is playing in it as well. So is Santo Blue Gandhi Vam, which of course is Arjun Aragaisi. So we're gonna be playing as Anish in the first game. This should be good content. Looking forward to it. Swag dunk just Thank you, Swag Dink, for the three months. Thank you so much, Swag Dink. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, wait, uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. Yay! Thank you so much to uh, Rio, Zero CS, Go for the Prime, and Jims for the 22 months. Thank you so much to Jims. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So. Thanks. All right. 70 players only as of right now. Yes. Thank you so much to Goliath online for the sub months. Thank you to Nibao for the three. Thank you for Eternal Apocalypse for the Prime. Thank you so much. Uh, King's Gambit for chat. I could. Yeah. I could. Did I fix my camera? I don't know, you guys. I had a slight issue, so I bought a connector, and I'm using a different port. It seems to be okay for right now, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. So, can we join? I think you need to be a member of the club to join. You need to be a member of this... Uh, of the, of the club, I, I I did it yesterday, so I can play. But not, I I think a lot of people don't realize that you need to be a member. Is there going to be a donate bar? I don't think. I mean, we're going to keep it up the whole week. Maybe we'll we will have something in the uh, in the future. But as of right now, like this is very last minute, so I I, I don't I don't I don't think so. Rajbob and Mamadi are ever playing. Nice, actually, yeah. Azri Chess and Tr Raj T Rajbob are playing. True. Uh only title players. Okay. Fair enough. Actually, a lot of title players playing in this. A lot of title players. Not bad. It's good stuff. Bros, unironically listening to Harlem Shake. Indeed, I am. So starting in 40 seconds. No Daniel. I guess I guess no Daniel. He's probably asleep, is my guess. But thank you so much to Yavzical for the tier one. Thank you so much to Yavzical. Appreciate it. Thank you for the, thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Should be starting pretty soon. 32, 14 highest rate. Yeah, I think I'm number one on the site as well. I mean, Magus dumped a bunch of points recently. I think uh, Nihal did as well. So, uh, yeah. Thanks so much to Yiggy Than for the Prime. Thanks so much to Yiggy Than. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yo, you're going to crush it, right? Going to do my best. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we're playing Anish. Let's play D4. Let's not... I, I, I'm i not going to play something stupid and make a draw. Let's play the Trump house key. Um, In honor of of uh, of him. Let's play Knight D2. Of course, Trump house key, it's an opening that I played a lot when I was younger. Um, I think it's still considered reasonably okay. Knight D6. Now, I could take, actually, which is interesting. But I'm just going to go C3, build the chain. Again, I can take here. Hard to judge. I think I'm just going to play traditional with Bishop H4, though. Bishop F5, logical. Let's go here. Pressure on the pawn on B7, potentially. Anish using a lot of time. He goes to A6, so if I take, I guess he's Knight A5. Funny thing is, I bet that I actually can take. But should I take or not? To be or not to be. To be or not to be, as Arnold would say. I mean, I can obviously take, but let's just play traditional. No need to be silly. 
Um, a 95 here, which is interesting. Yeah, I'm going to play 95 here. Offer the trade of the Knights. Now, obviously, trade. I can also go Queen A4 here. I can also go Bishop D3, maybe. Thinking too long, but I'm actually kind of getting interested in the position now, which is always a bad sign. Yeah, I should just develop and play chess. I'm just thinking way too long here. Just keep it very, very simple, very, very slow. Does anybody know Magnus is still in Canada? I mean, I have no idea. He's with the Chess Bros, right? So I assume he, that probably was because he's playing playing for the Chess Bros, if I had to guess. I mean, I can't leave any other re. I assume he's playing for them in the Pro Chess League, so he's probably just staying in Canada till um, till till it all ends. That's that's my guess. I can't leave. Any, I mean, why would he go just to play the air things? So he's probably in Canada for a while. Uh, I don't like B5 actually. I assume my knight gets a D4 here, and I think I should be okay. I won't go as far as to say that I'm better necessarily, but yeah, of course I'm going to trade. Takes, I mean, okay. Or 94, I guess 94 is fine here. If a5, he loses a pawn. If not, I get queen before. I have queen a3 also. Pretty balanced so far. Thank you for the Tagon for the five months. Thank you for Vladislav for the prime and the Jimmy Butler for the 100 bits. Thank you so much to the Jimmy Butler. Thank you so much to Six Mit for the Prime. Thank you so much to Six Mit. Appreciate it. Thank you for the Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much to Ahmet Peril Yavenis for the Prime as well. Appreciate it. See what he does. I mean, my position is pretty decent here. I can't complain. I've got a great knife on D4. Goes Rook B8. Whoa, thank you so much to Annoying Mouse for the five gifted subs. Now, he goes Rook B8. His idea is to play, I guess, A5. Hmm. I'm going to play a3. No reason not to. Probably goes a5. Expected that. I can play queen d1 maybe here and take and go rook c1. Yay! My idea at least. We'll see if it actually works. Okay, it does that. Take. I can play a4 or rook c1. Rook c1 looks correct just to go king h1 and knight c6 just to hit the queen. Looks correct. Looks actually very, very correct. Citron just subscribed. Why peepos? I don't know what why people are supposed to mean in this context, but anyway. Um, actually, this is a little bit, eh, a little bit iffy, but it's still okay. Oh, I should have just taken B4. Wait, I could have just taken the pawn on B4. What the heck? I could have just taken and played like Knight C6. Yay! It's bad. Now, of course, I can trade. I can play Rook B1. Oh, wait, Rook B1 he's just going to take. What am I doing? Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. If I trade, he takes. If I trade, play f5, knight e5, f6. Yeah, this was kind of careless by me to play this. I guess I'll just go here, maybe? Oh, but now I just let knight c5, too. What am I doing? <laughs> if I go here. Yeah, this is. I've played this pretty poorly. Shura just resubbed for three months. Three months sub. Probably 94. I'm going to go F5. And this probably will end in a draw pretty soon. Not the ideal, not the ideal approach. Don't bungle it on the queen side. I mean, as long as I can get rid of some sort of pawn trade here, I will be able to save the game. Whether I can win or not, pretty unlikely. But as long as there's some simplification in the center and he can't keep the structure while winning the pawn on a3, then I'll be fine. Okay, so yeah, thank you so much, Nates, for the 300 bits. Uniquitas for the prime. Magic, uh, Magic Cosmic Zupel. Thank you to Ghost of Sparta. Thank you to CGI Bay. Yeah, I mean, this is just a draw. Or it should be a draw. It's actually not... Yeah, it's... it's... I'm just going to offer him a draw. It's not it's not the time to try and cheese him. I mean, I could try to cheese him, but like this is an arena we're playing for fun. It really doesn't it doesn't feel like it's in it does not feel like it's in the spirit trying to flag him. Mean, that really doesn't feel like it's in the spirit. Things are just shoe rod for the three, Uzan Yildiz for the two, Ak Artike and Sid Cons for the twenty four month. Things are just noodle food for the twenty four as well. I mean it really Oh, it's is it un no, it is rated. It is rated. But it really doesn't feel oh, there's increment? Oh, I didn't realize there was increment. If I if I know there was increment, I would have actually moved a lot slower in that game than I did. Okay, let's take with the queen. I didn't realize there was increment. <laughs> if I had realized there was increment, I would have moved a lot slower in that middle game. 
Okay, that's actually kind of funny. Uh, let's go here in E6. Thank you so much to Raymond for the gift of sub Zangija with the Prime and Utikupsh for the Prime. I know I mispronounced that, but thank you so much. Okay, we do have a donation bar, so let me set this up as well. Um, one second. That should be good. I think you guys can see it. Okay, let's go to IPD7 here. There we go. All right, Queen B3 is played. I guess I'll go um and play Bishop B4 here, which is pretty reasonable. Just taking castles. I'm new to chess. Any tips? Um, this castle will play A3. I'll take. I'll go back. Thank you so much to Sleepy God for the Prime. Appreciate it. How's the stream going? Love the YouTube content. The stream's going pretty well. Um, I mean, last night was pretty rough because I recorded some videos and then, then I found out that the sound wasn't on. So I, I basically had to redo videos and that was pretty painful. But overall, pretty good. It's, been, it's all good. It's all good. Let's go here. Hit the queen. Probably I'm going to play C5 at some moment. Try to open up Twitch the center of the board. Thank you so much, Twitch More Man, for the three months. Let's go for charity. Let's just trade, of course. I can play B5 here. Try to break break the structure a little bit here. It's an idea, at least. Doesn't mean it's a good idea, but I grip the center. I'm going to go Queen B7 here. Maybe Queen A6 somewhere. Try to put pressure on this pawn. I think I'm going to go here. Have I ever played at Bryant Park? Uh, I have, but not in recent times. Not in recent times. Knight d2. Now, I could eat the pawn. Let's go for it. Why not? I'm hungry. Let's go queen d6. Actually, you can just take a7. It's not, it's not as special as I thought it was. But I have b4 and c5, maybe. Yeah, let's go for b4 and c5, I guess. Mm, I don't love my position here. Let's go C5. It's not a great position. That much is for sure. This work on A7 mildly annoying here as well. Um, thank you so much to Rakmo for the Prime. Thank you so much to Prost for the Prime. Kuba GHB for the Prime as well. Thank you so much to Sammy LX for the $20 gifted, um, gifted to the Turkish Philanthropy Fund. Thank you so much to... Um, Samuel X for the uh, for the twenty dollars. Thank you. All right, let's play. Um, Nakamura clap. Nakamura clap. Nakamura clap. Uh, I don't know what the best move is here. Actually, it's not easy to play this position. I think I'm gonna go rook a eight. Eh, don't like it. No, maybe just queen b eight. Kick the kick the uh, kick the rook out. Seven k. We were at eight k subscribers before air things began. So big shout out to everybody. Thank you so much for the love and support. You guys are amazing. Um, I don't have a great position here. I don't even know why I just did that. Uh, oh, he takes with a knight, which... I thought that was a little bit wrong, but maybe not. If I go here... I want to go knight c5 at the right moment. Whoa! Thanks so much to CW, 55CW, for the 10 gifted subs. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now, rook g3. I assume I go knight h5 to hit, kick the rook. Oh, he's got rook g5, which I didn't even see either. Jeez. Yeah, I'm a little bit shaky here at the start. I'm creative e so just here. Subscribed. Still should be okay, though. Thank you so much to Cal Daddy for the 25 and I phrase for the 3 and Uncreative for the tier 1. Thank you so much. Knight F3. Uh, I guess I'll just play H6. Kick the Rook out of town. Uh, now, the question is, which square do I go to? My assumption is that D6 must be the right square. I guard the pawn. I have Queen Entrance. Thank you to Lero Gaming for the 145 bits. I mean, I guard the pawn. I can take. He plays c5. I mean, I can play queen c6 here, which is probably a move. Again, I don't love it, but Hikayashi just queen f4 also a move, maybe. Yeah, let's go queen f4. Hopefully this isn't... Oh, no, it's just a blunder, too. Go c6. Okay, I play knight d5, of course. Oh, but knight d5 is a blunder, too, because of exactly what I just said. 
ridiculous by me. Go here. Is what Rook B8 or something? Thank you so much to the Jimmy Butler for the 250 bits. Thank you so much to the, to the Jimmy Butler. Of course, with increment, that makes it very hard to uh, to survive this game. But um, not Rook D5. Maybe just Rook D2. Because I have 94 here. Just took five I mean, I'm getting some counter, some like light play. counter play here. Thanks from Turkey. A little bit of counter play, not much, but a little bit. Of course, we're, that's Tried a terrible to move too. Backwards. Just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. If I get f4, f3. I mean, there, there's definitely some chances here. Like Ninety five or something. I guess I'll go. Late 2003 BR here. just resubbed for three months. Thanks, Hikaru, for work a preki eight. Here, attack the knight. Blockade the pawn. Now I have chances actually to survive. For sure. Still a check, I guess. So he does. I mean, if I get ninety four, I have ninety two. Knight c2 now lurking. Go here. Wait a second. I go here, and now he loses the loses the bishop, and I should be winning, I guess. Wait a second. Take. Yeah. Leafy Grins just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Less than three. This tricky way. Nuzit just resubbed for six months. Can I check and take? No, there's Rook H7. Now. So I go, can I go check his take. I have here. Let's go here. Pawn is guarded. This should be winning. Go here because now I have Rook H2. Go back and now I can block. Oh no, now I wait, now I go here. Wait, I, I have check and I take the rook. Yeah, there we go. Tough game. He defended very, very well. Um, let's play D4 here. Thank you so much to Andy Yes for the prime, Temdim for the prime, Hakayashi with the two one, does it with the six months, Gooey for the three, Leafy Gums. Thank you trying to say my name backwards for 26. Let's keep playing the uh, Trump Housekey. Thank you, F Court Ford Coppola for the two months. Uh, let's play 92 here. Thank you so much to Big X for the 40. Big X 23. Big X Thank you so much for 40 month reset. Thank you so much for the three and a half years. You have nerves of steel. Thank you so much. Why is it only for Turkey? Um, I think it's because it's being organized by, by Chesscon Turkey. Um, I mean, uh, there are, it's, it would be good if it was both, but it's, it's what it is. It's still something. Thank you so much to Huntsbury for the prime. Let's castle here. Uh, thanks so much to Den Fena for the eight months. Den Ukraine Den is cool still. Ukraine is still cool, you guys. Um, it's just there was a massive tragedy that just occurred um, in Turkey and uh, and Syria. Let's play 95 here. Very, very sad. Let's go F4, build a classic stone wall here in the middle of the board. Now, I could trade the bishops. I could play H4 like a Levi Roseman would. I can also go queen h5, which is very bold, but let's do it. Build that wall. I agree. Build that wall. But we're not here for politics today, you guys. Let's 
goes f5, which I don't know, looks wrong to me. Um, I guess I'll go knight f3 here. Thank you so much to Wigger Miss for the Prime and Carlos Miguel. Thank you so much to Carlos Miguel. Carlos Muchas Miguel gracias. Thoughts and prayers to victims in Turkey and Syria. Oh, I had Bishop A6 too, maybe was a move. Yeah, that was maybe also a move. It happens. It was Knight F6. I can obviously trade. I think I will trade. Um, I think I'm gonna just go all in here with G4. All aboard the choo-choo train. Let's just attack, just attack, and attack. Thank you to Vboard EXE for the six months. Thank you so much. Uh, Vboard, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Very, very good position. Irresistible. Do I eat chili? I've had chili, not recently, but yeah, I do eat chili. Thank you so much to Luftwasser for the prime thing. This is Luftwasser. Dude, what are the standings here? Okay, donkey, donkey, donkey on nine points. Now, it's hard to not. I got to go for it. I got I to gotta just go for it. Just all aboard the choo-choo train. He blocks. I mean, I have knight g5 here, but it's not right. I mean, I assume I just take and go back. So I have queen h5 and... I'm assuming here that I just, I have how many pawns? One, two, three, four, five. I have three pawns so far. I assume I'm getting a fourth pawn here on F5 at some point, which I'm winning. So it's really hard to believe that this is not simply winning for me. Really, really hard to believe. We'll go, ah. Rook H6 and Bishop C8, then Queen G5. Ah, whatever, who cares? Bishop c8, I go queen g5. I mean, I might get my queen trapped here, but I don't think so. Did I beat all the bots? No. Uh, we've only played about half the bots so far. Half the bots. Things which are rambat for the prime. Things which are rambat. Appreciate it. Thank you for the, for the resub. Go. I have f7 or, eight, or g5. g5 looks right to me. Just because bishop f6, I take the rook. I have 95 here with all kinds of threats as well. So I think 97 was a mistake. I mean, I have four extra pawns here for the, uh, for the peas. Was this a London opening? No, this was the Trump house key. This chat GBD play chess, not that I know of. Thank you, gifting person guy for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. He plays queen d6 now. I can play knight e5 here. I can also go f5. I have played go, you guys. I'm not particularly good at it, but I have played it. Let's go here. Offer the trade of the queens. I should... should be okay here. I think the rook is trapped, actually. I just trapped his rook. Yeah, I take and go here. Okay, now this should just be winning as long as I'm smart. I guess I'll go here. I have rook f8. Now I have rook f7. I also this is with increment, right? So he can still survive for a little bit. I think rook f7 just. Um, I guess I'll go here. Rook c8 ideas. I go here. Rook f8. And now the rook should be infiltrating with the double stack on the seventh rank. I should be able to mate him. Go here. Okay, I guess I go here. This is still tricky, oddly enough. Oh, he went that way. I was not expecting that way. Oh, what did I just do? Did I just blunder? Ah. 
Oh, that was ridiculous by me. I was so bad. I was completely winning and I just blundered for no reason. We lost 32k people. What? Oh, oh sorry. Oh, sorry. I misunderstood what you were saying. Sorry. Go here. I was so bad, but I mean, it's just completely winning. I just forgot about D2 altogether. Yeah, yeah I, mis I misunderstood what you guys were saying, so. Yeah, no, I, I misunderstood what you guys were saying. Go here. Yeah, I think it's like 33k, right? It's, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. Yeah, this was stupid. And it's three plus one. I, I don't know why I did that. But yeah, just offer a draw. How have I only played three games in 24 minutes, actually? Now that I'm thinking about it. That's like, that's like very few games. How have I only played three in 24? Eight minutes per average is a little bit insane. Yeah. Yeah, that's insane. The E4. For Knight of three. Play D4 here. Thank you so much to Uguri for the Prime. Thank you so much to Desire for the Tier 1 and Rizzle Smelt for the Prime. Okay, I'm play a uh play the Smith Moore Gambit. Okay. F. What is F? What? Go C4, Knight, C3. Watch a Levy video. I'm not watching a Levy video on my stream, you guys. I mean, there's... Uh, I'm not going to. <laughs> like, when, when, you, when you title videos with, like, one, one word which doesn't say anything about a video, I'm just not going to click on it. It's just that simple. Play Rookie 1 here and play Bishop F1, Rookie 1, and B3. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm not... I, that's not me trying to be rude. When you just put a, put, a, put a ridiculous title, like, how or he lost his mind or stupid things like that, I'm just not going to watch a video. Just plain and simple. I'm just not going to. Um, let's play Bishop D2 here in Knight D5 next move. Plain and simple. Uh, things that we should dark wins for the prime. Things dark wins. Appreciate it. So I can play Knight D5 next move and go go from there. Yeah. Based, yeah. I mean, you can call it base, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not actually saying that to be like mean. I'm just saying that's simply the truth. Like I don't see any good reason to to making a video that no one's going to understand what you're doing just so that people will click on it. I mean, you can very easily put a title with like five, ten words, maybe not ten, but like five words that explains what you're doing. But when you just put a random title with like one word, like how or what or things Yay! like that, like just to get a click, I mean, I'm just not into fat that. Things are just a fat Dwayne for the five months. But steel for the prime. Things are but steel. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, and I can play B4. I can also play Knight D5 here. Both are both are possible. Um, yeah, Knight D5. Queen d8. I can play bishop c3 here, which is a pretty decent move. Um, yeah, I will do it actually. Because if it takes, I just take. Is the Trump house key better than the London system? Um, London, I think the London is more flexible. If you play bishop g5 on move two against d5 or knight f6, it's very tricky to get um to get like a set system. So I'd probably play the London more. I would. Yeah, I probably would. Um, things are frosted vivid for the prime. I mean, I'm no fan of the London system, but I still probably would play the London more. Let's go bishop b2 here. I can play knight d4. I can play g3. Um, play g3 and knight d4. 
play a3 and b4 here pretty good stuff um b5 looks like a mistake i can take and play knight d4 and knight c6 here this looks pretty bad for black so yeah as a turkish fan thank you for your support yeah yeah i know it's um sad very very sad yeah Bishop takes b5 looks pretty good if it takes I just take with the queen again I'm playing this game way too fast because we are playing with we are playing with increment versus straight up so yeah All right knight c3 you can take is the queen's gambit accepted bad for black not not particularly no I mean I, I there are lines where you can get in trouble but overall I think it's pretty uh pr pretty pretty decent yeah okay knight f6 now if I take he just takes if I play a4 or b4 I'll play b4 and a4 you are the man he car thanks for caring yeah I mean it's it's very sad what's going on very very sad let's play a4 here do I remember the chess player Eddie Mark from Buffalo um Eddie Mark not right off no sorry maybe I should but not right off not right off no maybe I should I mean sorry sorry if I, I should and I don't but I, I don't actually any upcoming announcements to share not not really nothing nothing much I guess I'll play knight d5 here force the trade have I ever been in Georgia do you mean Georgia the state or Georgia the country uh, I've been in both though to answer the question let's play rook, rook, rook f1 here Florida is not an earthquake zone no luckily it's it's not whoa thanks so much at Laurent vision for the 10 gifted subs appreciate it. let's just play a5 kick the queen out of town go bishop d3 looking pretty good wow I find it's 97 but this move however gives me a little bit of a, wait if I go queen b3 you can play rook b2 queen b3 rook b2 a b6 tricky I'll go here then because I'm attacking the queen I'm attacking the rook take six should be pretty good do I prefer Florida over LA no LA is much better play queen takes c2 play queen b3 attacking the knight here So I'll go rook d1 attacking the knight LA is definitely an earthquake zone though yes it is that that goes without saying um 97 is played I will just take the pawn play rook b6 next move maybe rook d5 as well so let's trade play a6 here and then rook d8 a7 a8 play rook a1 and trade have I played hand hand and chess you mean like uh it's hand and brain you mean I have done that yeah oh well I wasn't expecting that but okay <laughs> um let's go here there's a stain on your shirt pretty sure there isn't but thank you um okay let's just go c6 and play as normally we'll go here and castle I'm just gonna pretend that I'm playing a normal position um pawn odds yeah I'm just gonna pretend that this is just normal position that's what I'm gonna do uh, let's go rook e8 here attacking the knight I guess I'll go bishop f5 and knight bd7 maybe h6 first so I can remove the bishop from f5 and then knight d7 etc go here just simple development I'm down a pawn but it maybe isn't the end of the world because I can always go knight e4 at some moment as well although there are problems I'll go Queen B8 instead how am I not in first position because I'm not particularly playing great and um this is three plus one so games take a lot longer there's no guarantee that games will go six minutes it was E3 interesting I'm gonna play A5 idea A4 here opinion on Maga's haircut um I know what you mean by that I just said to chat DPT to describe he said talented innovative charismatic 
I mean, everyone's making this huge deal about chat GPT. I mean, I've spoken, I've spoken to people who know a thing or two, this is where this is sort of their industry. And they've said, they've said, yeah, it's, it's, it is important, but it's not, it's not anything like what the media is trying to make it out to be. It's not like some, it's not like Skynet. The world's not changing overnight. I mean, it's, it's, it's big, but not in the way that everyone, the way the media is making it out to be just that simple. Um, can play a3 or i can also go bishop b4 his knight on h4 looks a little bit misplaced um play a3 why not go bishop b4 put pressure on the knight things are just megu for the prime and atteris for the prime and chelsea smile for the prime but who's right who's right about what i don't know what do you mean who's right okay i'm gonna go b5 here try to open up the c5 so i can use the rook so play bishop h3 the move not the best move but it's a move trade and now i'll go knight e4 i guess ah but now the knight's coming into f5 whoops okay so i guess i'll reroute my bishop now to stop it from getting all the way in not wonderful Yay! thank you so much to ic4 bu for the prime and stamper for the 11 months SCW appreciate just it just took five dollars out of bezos's pocket thanks go bishop c7 here b4 i can go knight e4 here maybe trade knight f6 it's not ideal but it's decent whoa things are sure erman for the 250 dollars gifted to the turkish philanthropy fund big shout out to um to uh to airman big shout out to airman uh i think i'm gonna go knight f6 i gotta stop e4 here i have a very bad position objectively but i'm gonna go queen c8 oh queen c8 doesn't do anything yeah i'm gonna lose this game but whatever like queen e6 maybe not actually there's some counter player queen guards a knight pawn e4 is a little bit weak e5 knight d5 i have chances not so clear things over to ice 420 for the 33 the hisoka for the prime and chimera for the prime thing and neos linky for the prime things over to neos linky So, see what he does here he does play e5 which i mean it, i'm still in trouble so i play queen d5 and i assume knight d5 has to be right i just need this bastion i need the bastion to play i think it's a bunch of oh, for the prime okay goes rook f2 um i guess i'll go queen g6 pressure on the diagonal maybe 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 not actually I'm gonna play rook e6 to guard the queen and then maybe rook f8 or something maybe f6 he's getting low on time so bad things can definitely happen here we'll go here see what he does to be underscore or underscore not just subscribe now what I want to play is f6, but is it, is it a move or do I have to go bishop d8? Hmm. I'm gonna go f6. I think I can get away with f6 and just take. I uh, think it's so to be or not to be for the uh for the tier one. Things so are to to be or not to be. Bro thinks he's Ikaru. Exactly, you guys, exactly. Takes, yeah, he takes. I have 93 to win the rook. Knight f7, I go back. Knight g4, I go back. I think I'm okay here. I mean, he's missing materials. He goes takes. What is this threat? Does he have a threat? Knight f7, king f8, I'm fine. Knight g4, king g8. Oh, wait, no. If he goes knight g4, no, no, wait. If he moves the knight to f5 or g4, I just block it with the queen. So now I just take. Because check, I go king g8. Check, I just take. Not even sure why I took. I well, I guess I can take with the queen. Still tricky. I think it's over to Heklas for the prime and uh eight AT Adam for the prime. Let's go king g8 here. Knight g4. Okay, now I think I'll just go knight h5, stop the attack. And now I'm just up a rook and a bishop. It's game over. Let's keep going. Next game. Okay, we're playing looks looks cat 2366. Let's play knight c3 here and knight f3. Play h3 and queen f3. 
Have I eaten the Georgian food, Zinkali? I don't know what that is. Uh, air quality, I don't know, you guys, because, again, I played from California. I didn't play from Florida, so I didn't end up setting up the uh, air things thing because the air things uh, device was obviously sent here to Florida. I wasn't in Florida for the, uh, for the air things masters. Take with the bishop and go back. Oh, I meant to go back to G2, but same thing. Let's just castle. Go D4, C3. This is my own playlist, you guys. Own playlist. Bad air quality leads to blunders. Yeah, exactly. Go work D1 and C4 here. Have I ever played Gary Kasparov? Yes, I have played him. I have played Gary Kasparov, indeed. Yep, 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 yep. I'll play b3 maybe bishop b2 as well whoa thanks to alper for the three dollars gifted to the turkish philanthropy fund big shout out to um to alper thanks so much to the mechaniac for the 51 months wow great video on the kins combat would like to see more of those thematic opening gm games analysis yeah, thank you so much, Mechanic. Yeah, I'm doing more uh, more YouTube videos these days than I used to do, so glad you enjoyed it. Let's go Bishop B2, maybe Rook D3 and Rook D1 here. Always loved you and your content as a Turkish fan. I love you even more. Thank you. I've I've always I've always loved going to Turkey. It's one of my um I wouldn't say favorite places because it's it's kind of changed over the years and really not in the mood to you know, I'm not gonna turn into Hassan here and like go off on a big rant. Um but I, I've always enjoyed going to Turkey. Let's 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 leave it at that. So I'm gonna go B4 and see why. Did I redo the King's Gambit video? Yeah, you guys. I basically went and redid the whole video, and it was very annoying. I mean, I because I took 34 minutes to record it. I thought it was good because I saw the bar moving in OBS. Then I, I put it on YouTube, just upload it. Cause I I mean, obviously it should be fine. And then I see the comments after like 10 minutes, like it's like uh, this, there's no sound or, or something like that. And it's like, oh no, what did I just do? So then I had to go back last night and record it, which meant I went to bed really late. Um, but again, it's it's all worth it. It's all all part of the grind. Subscribed. Thank you so much to Ubercon for the four months. Thank you to NEXL for the tier one and at uh, Burkazlan for the prime. Thank you so much. Last time I was in Istanbul or Tur last time I was in Istanbul was uh, I don't know. I've been to Turkey many times. I've been to Antalya. I've been to Bursa. I've been to Istanbul. Um, so I've been to all three of those cities. But it's been a uh, it's it's been a while since I've since I've uh, it'll take. I have rook c1, I thought. Underscore, underscore, yeah, I'll go here subscribe. to hit the queen. Not Constantinople right. Good one, you guys. Wait, do I have rook b1 winning the game? Rook b1, knight d3, rook b3. Knight c... No, no, yeah. And if knight a4, I go rook b3 trapping the queen. <laughs> knight c... <laughs> knight a4, I have rook b3, knight d3, I take... Maybe there's knight c4. Maybe. Hard to believe, though. Thank you so much to Federico for the eight months. Somehow it's funny. I actually don't have a way to win here. It's pretty funny, in fact. Hmm. How bizarre. How bizarre indeed. Oh, let's take the pawn. Let's drop back. Just play a simple end game here. Just go a4. Maybe queen e1 or queen b2 just to play an end game here. Uh, thank you so much to Kieran Casino for the Prime. Uh, thank you to Stewie for the $10 gifted to the Turkish Philanthropy Fund, as well as Stampede for the 100 Yay! Thank you so much. Neither to Revenge X Bezo for the four Revenge months. Just took five out Go B5, A5, B6. Thanks. Thanks. A5, B6 incoming. If Knight D6, I think I have Bishop F1 to guard the pawn. Four, just B6, of course. Just takes B7, Rook A8. I mean, all there. Or actually, takes I have A6, A7, too. Actually, this is even, even simpler. Okay, d4. Um, let's play g6 this game. Something different. I blunder my queen? What do you mean? I don't think I did. Yay! Oh, she had rook d1. I am 
one bill underscore just took five. Yeah, actually, you're right. Yes. Let's play the B feeder. Thank you so much to I am built for the two. What's your current feeder rating? I don't know, like 2765 or something. I, it's something like that. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it's something. Once again, you guys, all donations are, um, are uh, tax deductible if you're in the United States because uh, the Turkish Plan 3 Fund, it is a 501c3. Thank you so much to not m 7 mdd for the Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's play F5 here. Way to blunder the loss and win. Okay, plays this H4 line. This is... um. I'm going to play knight of six and rook g8, I guess. I could easily destroy you 100 zeros black. I mean, perhaps, perhaps if you have a friend who's rated 3,500, you could. It's always possible. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think even if I played against Stockfish with white, I think I would probably lose 99 out of 100 for sure. And there's going to be like one or two games where I have some small chances to draw. Okay, what is Colt Co Castle going to do here? Are we best friends? I don't know what you mean. I think it's what he carved for the win for the 18 most. Knight f3. I guess I'll go queen f5 to hit the pawn on c3 five. here. Just play d6 next move. What is a charity goal? We have a goal to slip stay up the whole week of getting to $5,000. We have raised uh, 12 23 Now, this is very last minute. We only decided to do this this morning. Um, so that's why it's... Uh, that's why it's so last minute. Thank you so much to Azimuth for the prime. Thank you so much to Big Little Pony for the five dollars. Thank you to A Pringle for the three dollars. Appreciate it. A underscore Pringle donated three dollars. I'm training to beat my one thousand two hundred rating friend <laughs> that plays the bishop's opening only. What defense should I try and improve it against him? Um, bishop's opening. I mean, there are a couple different possibilities. Maybe something with an early c six d five or c six b five. So just depends. I think there's a standard for the twenty dollars gifted to the Turkish philanthropy fund as well. Thank you so much. I don't have social media. What days are you streaming this week? If you're on Twitch and you don't have social media, um, that sounds a little bit suspicious. I'm I gotta be honest. That doesn't sound quite right. That doesn't sound right. You're you're on Twitch, but you don't have social media. I, I somehow that doesn't seem quite right. I got to be honest. I, I'm not trying to be rude, but that doesn't seem uh, that doesn't quite seem possible. <laughs> I'm a little. I mean, I'm on Twitch and I don't have social media. I'm not saying you have a social media account, but to not follow it all. Dragon Doom yeah. missiles just took. Five I the Dragon Doom missiles for the four months. Thank you so much. Thanks. I will just castrol here. After takes, I just take back. Yay! Not really. I don't have it either. Okay. Thanks so much, Chucker, for the 13 months. Thank you so much, Chucker. Yeah, nobody's got social media today, right? No, nobody has social media. Yeah. Thanks so much, Famy, for the Prime. Thanks so much, Famy. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Yeah. Okay, takes. I will take back. Knight g5, trying to go after the pawn. Um, I guess I'll just play rook Yay! d f8. I always have bishop a4 somewhere in here to attack the queen. Thanks so much, Chess Zombie, for the 21 months. Thanks so much, Chess Zombie. Appreciate it. Ikar pointed out inaccurate in social media usage. Exactly. This trade is very bad. Thanks so much, a Big Little Pony Boy, for the $5 gifted to the uh, Turkish philanthropy fund. Now I skewer the queen and the rook. I take on c4, GG's. Or take the rook on d1. Go check. Take on c4. Do you drink alcohol? Sometimes, but not that much anymore. Oh, I had rook h1 also, which was just winning. Do I think Minlay can overcome Lee Emily to become Vietnam's top one player? No, never. Minlay is a great chess player, but let's be honest. Minlay is like 2,500, maybe a little bit above at best right now. Laquan Liam is like a 2,700 plus player, like legitimate 2,700 plus level player. There's no chance in a million years of that happening. Thanks so much to La Hali, La 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 Hi Ali for the nine months. Thanks so much. Let's take and play Bishop B4. Why was, I, why was I in California last week? Uh, I was in California. Let's leave it at that. Uh, I'm going to play E5 and D6 here. 
Son of Magus Carlson, who, what, when, where? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Sorry. No idea. No idea what you guys are talking about. New idea. Let's play H6 here. Thank you so much to X Factor for the 12 months. Thank you so much to X Factor. Let's go G5H5. All board. Thank you. Omkar for the $10 gifted to uh, the Turkish philanthropy fund. Let's play H5. And play H4, G4. I think I'm just going to go all in. Whoa, thank you to Anonymous for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much to Anonymous. Thank you to Assy Mascus for the Prime as well. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Anonymous. Big shout out to Anonymous for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So I'm just going all in here to attack on the king side, basically. DCI Plays A3. Just take and go G3, I guess. Oops. Pammy J322 just subscribed. Thank you so much to uh, Pammy J. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Cappy Blanc on YouTube for the $10. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, not a massive yeah, amount, but happy to help subscribe. any way I can. Thank you so much. Promoting uh, something today? Promoting what? I don't know what you mean. Oh, you mean Genshin Impact. Ah, no, no Genshin Impact today. Just subscribed. I should play with XQC soon. Play which game with him? What, Hogwarts? Just I'm going to go Night G3 attack the Rook. This is very scary. I'm going to go H3 here. Just basically go all in here for the checkmate. Should be winning. Yeah. I did not play Rajbob yet. No. Thank you so much to Dino Star for the two months. Dinosa this is just completely collapsing for White here. Pocket. Thanks. The only guy I'm subbed to. My man. I must be insane. King G1, Queen G3 just gets... Let's just checkmate. Yeah, that was pretty rough. I mean, Hogwarts, I don't know why everybody's getting all rah-rah about it. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. But I, I do play variety more now than I ever used to, but we'll see. We'll see. Can I play the tournament? You need to be a member of the club in order to play, you guys. So, all right, next game. Um, oh, we're playing Yavrikert. Big, big, big dog here. Let's play E4, D4. Now this is uh this is um three plus one, so it's gonna play very, very solid. Um let's go here and trade. Yay! Neeks underscore BD just took five castle here. Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Yeah, which move is correct? I, I think rookie one is fine. Time. Bishop Yay! F4. I know the structure is better here. I'm just trying to remember what the exact Sir right order is to play. Neither is Sir Bar for the two months. He plays A5. Think, Albin, A4 Albert looks Albert. correct. What do I think about what? Thank you to God Harm for the prime. What do I think about the Alvin counter camp? It's playable. It's a difficult opening to play, but it is playable. Um, it's tricky, though. It's tricky. Now, I can play Queen C2 here. This B3, Bishop B2 is my idea. Let's go here. Bishop A3, also an idea now. Multiple ideas in this position. Have I made a donation? Not yet. I will probably make a donation either later today or at some point this week. Um, because, uh, what was I going to say? Because, yeah, we have, uh, it's going to be going on all week long. It's not just a one-day thing. Um, now, C4 is a move. I don't like it um, particularly. I don't like G3 either. I actually don't really like my position pretty much at all here. So, I guess I'll go Knight D2, not that it does anything. Back to that. Um, just play rook a d1. Bishop f8 is an interesting move. I don't like it. I'm going to trade and go bishop c4. I don't know. Somehow I feel like I'm just getting a slight advantage here if I play this correctly. A knight e4 also a logical move here. So let's go here. Try and play something where I keep pieces on the board. Maybe I take, maybe I don't. Uh, I think I'm going to actually take. Very hard to judge whether this is correct. Okay, he takes with a pawn. I go like knight g3 here. I can play rook e3. I can also just go rook c1. I can also, yeah, I think rook c1's got to be right. 
I'm gonna play f5, I guess, at some point. Okay, it goes queen f4, which I don't actually like. Because now I get knight e2 at some moment, and then I, then I think I should be better. I think it's so much that Neeks for the 14, they have 2b or b for the, the 1,000 bits. They have Faye for the prime. They have X Cronus for the tier 1 and Misu Compromiser for the prime. The H5, I will play knight to e2. Logical. I can play h4. I'm going to play h4. I don't even know if it's the right. It's probably not the right move, but it's a move at any rate. He goes bishop d7. Reasonable. Now I could try c4 if I really want to. Definitely a, a decent move, but it's not the move that I kind of want to play. I'm going to go rook a1. Just put pressure on the pawn here. Oh, rook a1 is actually very bad. Uh, maybe not very bad, but not a good move at any rate. Yeah, I'm playing this pretty badly. I guess I'll just trade good night. Oh, now I hung the pawn. Let's see. Let's go C4 here, force a trade. Oh, so bad. Let's go here. And now I'll go C5. I mean, I have knight F1, H3, G3 with knight H2. I mean, I'm still much worse, but maybe some chances. I can also go queen g3, but I think I'll just play g3 here. All my pieces also just terribly misplaced in this end game. I take, of course. Plays queen e5, which is interesting. Um, not even sure why I did this either, but I did. Yeah, this was insane by me. I guess I go rook d1 and take the pawn. I mean, I still have chances to save this. Not very likely, of course, but there are chances. Here. I mean, if he takes, takes it. I think I can still save this. Takes. Okay, logical. Um, now, the question is, what do I... Put? Actually, it's not, it's not great. Yeah, this is just losing. Yeah, this is a pretty terrible game by me in this one. I mean, I assume this is losing somehow, but whatever. If I can get the pawn to g5, I have chances maybe to survive. He's trying to come in with some g5 himself. We'll go here. It goes a3. I'm going to have rook a7 somewhere in here too. Okay, rook c5, so what's his idea here? Ah, I blundered rook a4. Yeah, that was terrible. Not a good game. There are probably some trick in there that I just blundered, but it happens. I just hung the pawn on h4 and the rest was bad. Let's just play f4, play a, v, n of this game. Let's just take and play queen f3.
I'll play bishop b5 here. I could have taken the pawn, actually, but I'll play bishop b5 in this game. Um, do you have good memories in Turkey? I do. Yeah. Most, most of the, uh, most of the events I played in Turkey w went pretty well. So I do. Yeah. I mean, I just played a bad game. Just that simple. Also big mistake for me, uh, signing up for this arena with my main account. I should, I should have just done this on, on my other account with GM Hikaru. I wasn't thinking when I signed up for this, but it is what it is. Let's take and play knight c3 and d4 or knight f3 and d4, I should say. This is a girl who drew Ivanchuk recently. Who? Oh, um, she played in the World Rapid and Blitz, right? Yeah, she played in the World Ra World Rapid and Blitz, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, ninety four. This shouldn't actually be very good for Black, but undoubtedly I'm gonna mess this up. Um, close trade. Let's trade, play c3. Let's see how good her end games are. I'm gonna go d4 here. Yay! And his castle. Joe P11 just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Okay, c6 is a little bit dubious. Now I get bishop c4 here. Um a little bit dubious. Do you remember the first time you beat your brother at chess? You mean an actual uh actual rank game or not? Because we only played a handful of games. Yeah, that's pretty boring. Uh pretty boring opening. Hmm. How do I try to win this? I guess I'll just go here and take and play d5. Your eyes bothering you just a little bit, but I'm okay. Go d5 to open up the center of the board here. How do you see the standings? Standings are right here. Timor has 31 points. Do GMs have a WhatsApp group? I mean, Benjamin Bach has alluded to something with like the Dutch GMs, but. Um, I mean, at least as far as I know, I'm not in any of those groups as they do exist. Thank you to Malisha for the four. Thank you to Joe P for the 16 months. Thank you so much to Joe P. Appreciate it. Thank you. Why do I wear glasses now? Because I just don't feel like it. I mean, I probably should. I mean, if I'm being honest, I should. But okay, so wait. So if I take and play rook b6, there's bishop c8. There probably are tricks here, but I, I don't really want to go for tricks, so I'm just going to play Rook D1 and trade. Thank you so much to Sirkan Castle Bugapolu for the Prime. Thank you so much. Although this is not the way to do it either. I should have put the Rook on D4. You should wear glasses. Thank you. Thank you so much to Axua for the Prime. Okay, now I go Rook D4. To trade everything off um still probably a draw but black is a little bit passive here what i think about turkish players there definitely are a few who are very talented um they haven't really broken through to where they're near the top levels but um but they are pretty decent they are yeah Thank you to Mehmet, uh, Mehmet Izik for, for the 200 bits. Thank you so much to Mehmet. Thank you to Jonathan for the $100 donated to the Turkish Philanthropy Fund. Big shout out to Jonathan. Your problem for Black is that the Rook is too passive here. She's going to have to go like Rook B8, and then my Rook is on the seventh rank. It's a classic kebab here, uh, and you impale the meat. So let's go King up 2 A6. Okay, so I can play A4, but then B5. I'm just going to slide my rook over to c7 here. Go here, target the pawn on a6. And now I'll go here, slide the rook over again so I can check. Now what I need to do here is somehow I need to get my pieces closer because the king can't come closer because of the check. I'll check. I'm going to go b3 and c4. I think I try to create a pass pawn. Yeah, I try to create a pass. Wait, is this possibly a draw? No, I, I don't. If this is a draw, I don't want to be right. Yeah, if this is a draw, I just really don't want to be right. Yeah, if this is a draw, I just don't want to be right, basically. 
This should not be a draw. My king should be too fast here. Yeah, this king should be way too fast. Yeah, this is winning. Okay, next game coming up. Thanks for check Kutamala for the gifted sub. Thanks for Kutamala. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's play C5 here. Let's play the Night Orf takes. Knight of six. So many bots. Okay, chill, you guys. Chill. Get a deep breath. Um, okay, let's play E5 here. I mean, are they bots or not bots? I don't even know. No, they're real people? Okay. Let's take. We got invaded. Oh, did we get a raid or something? Oh. Did we get a raid? Maybe not. I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> big shout out to everybody. Oh, um, oh, it's the Turkish Chess.com channel. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it's really great what they're doing. I mean, obviously, some people are going to be unhappy because it's not, you know, it's, it, they're, you know, it's only Turkey. It doesn't include Syria, but they're doing something. And I mean, I, you can, you can split hairs if you want to and be unhappy about that, but they're doing something and it's, it's all for a good cause. Um, let's go here. Like, I remember I saw, I saw a picture on, um, on social media and there's a picture of this guy and it's like, there's a picture of him with his daughter, probably like by a fountain or something six months ago or, or some time. And then they have a picture of her basically holding it where he's holding her hand, but she's like crushed under the rubble. And it's just really, really, it's really tough to see things like that. I mean, really, really brutal. Yeah. I saw, I saw it on social media. It was like absolutely rough. It was like brutal to see that. Let's go to 97, Bishop H6, and Knight C5 here. Oh, thank you so much to Kuburu Yudesu for the prime. Thank you so much, Kuburu Yudesu. The day after the Turkey's here, earthquake, there was one in Palestine, Israel, Jordan. I mean, I assume it just sits on a fault line, and probably they were like, it was just aftershocks, you would guess. Here, so Henry Poincare for the 15 Carlin, months. Thanks so much. Turkey, 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 Turkey. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you for the resub. I started playing chess when I was seven years old, you guys, when I was very, very little. Okay, queen d2. Now, I can play bishop h6. I can also just um, go rook c8 here as well. Open c file. Probably I'm going to play bishop h6 at some point to activate my bishop, but I don't want him getting knight c4 here, so I cut it off with rook c8 first. Thank you so much. It's fat. 1h for the two months. You know, Mephisto for the 26 and Dim for the prime. Thank you so much. Okay, now I go bishop h6. Thank you so much to Roman for the 12 months. Thank you so much to Roman for the 12. Yeah, I mean, officially the number is just like, it's crazy. I mean, it, it's, it's, uh, it's just astounding and not in a good way. Um, I mean, the number is like, I think I thought I saw like 33,000. Like it's, it's truly, truly horrifying. Truly, truly horrifying. Um, I mean, I don't even know what to say. That's just, yeah, it's really bad. Thank you so much Unsil Turk for the Prime. They have Ephon Bayraktar for the Tier 1. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much to Fergal fan Mike for the two months. Thank you so much to Suleiman CA Kier for the Prime. Thank you so much. Once again, I'm seeing these Primes that are coming in from Turkish names, which I assume means that if you do have Amazon Prime, you can connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and subscribe free to one channel every month. So if you're paying that subscription to Amazon, you can take money out of their pocket and put it in the pocket of hardworking streamers. So do keep that in mind. Now, Knight of Five is a very enterprising move by Real Burke. It's a move that I saw but I assume that somehow it wasn't good when in fact it might just be a very good move. Takes, 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 takes. Pretty scary. Um, It's 31K, but it, it's around 31K, but expect to be around 200K when the rubble removal process ends. Oh man. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's focus on the game. Um, now I can castle here. I can play knight c5 too. Yeah, that's wow. Um, queen b6 takes here. Queen g5. I can play f6 takes. That's no good. Knight f6. Knight f5. H6 rook g8. Question is, do I play knight f6 or queen b6? I think I'm going to play knight f6 first. He has knight g7 if takes. Oh, I played the wrong order. I did go queen b6 first. Whoops. 
Whoops, that was a mistake. But maybe I'm still okay, maybe. No, not really. I think there's an NA Vinkto for the Prime, Juno Leo with the Prime, and Gronz with Prime. Taking is possible, but I think it's bad. I think it's bad. I'm not sure. Oh, he checks on G7. Okay, so I guess I go here. Yes, I can take with the king, but that feels really cheesy. I think I'd take with the... It was a four logical. I'm in a lot of trouble here, but maybe I can survive. Actually, maybe I can even go like here and take. Yeah, maybe now I'm okay here because I have queen e5. It was f5, which looks very wrong to me. Um, I think I'll take and take, I guess. I mean, it's bishop c6, but I can take with the queen or... I think I just trade and play this end game. I have knight e4 here. Hacking the rook. Very tricky here. Takes and now king d5, and I have a big black center, and everything here should be pretty good. I I should play rook b8. Let's go here, I guess. A4 fix the pawns. Big mistake. Now he will flag. Go again. Thank you so much to Sidizio for the prime data. Fumi for the ten dollars gifted to the Turkish philanthropy fund. Thank you so much to uh, Fumi as well. Appreciate it. Okay, let's go d4 here. Uh, let's play... Um, there is no Turkish opening, I don't think, is there? There's no Turkish opening, which is weird because, of course, Istanbul used to be Byzantium and then it was Constantinople. So it's kind of weird that chess... There's nothing that came out of there. It's kind of weird, considering how old of a city it is. It's weird. There's, like, no opening or no real chess history. There's a Turkish gambit? Aha, uh -huh, Okay. Yeah, I'm just thinking about it because, like, you think about you think about. I mean, Istanbul, like, it's one of the one of the oldest cities in the world. Uh, Istanbul, also known as Constantinople and Byzantium in the old days. I will trade. Yeah, it's just it's just interesting. Um, I will just castle here. If take, I just take. In Turkey, there's a Turkish gambit. Okay, I'm gonna play rook c1 here. Not a great move, but it's a move. Okay, king h8. I guess I go b3 because now the rook guards the knight on the capture here. I lived in Istanbul for two years. Okay, there is a gambit called the Turkish gambit. I've not, I mean, I've e4, e5. Wait, no, no, e4, e5, knight f3, d5. Isn't that the, uh, isn't that the elephant gambit? Maybe it's called Turkish too. I know it's definitely called the, it's called the, or it's, wait, knight f3, d5, e5, e4, queen e2, knight f6, d3. I don't know. I always thought, I always thought that was the elephant gambit. They, they call the elephant gambit the Turkish gambit? Really? I didn't know that. Interesting. I had no idea, actually. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, let's go here, rook fd1. Saint, uh, uh, wait, Turkish and... What am I missing? Turkish and elephant? What is the... Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what is the reasoning. What's the difference or whatever. Are there elephants in Turkey? I don't, maybe there are. I don't, I don't actually know. But yeah, I, I, I didn't know that. I, I actually didn't. I, I only knew of it as the elephant gambit, but maybe it is called the Turkish gambit as well. It would not surprise me. There are no elephants in Turkey. Oh, okay. Really? There are no elephants? Really? Somehow I find that surprising. I, I don't know why. I just find that surprising. Go here. I know, because I just think of elephants. I think of, like, the ancient world. And I, I feel like elephants were, like, weren't they, like, the most, uh, weren't they, like, the most prized uh, thing, pretty much? Elephants and camels. Now, I'm going to try to set up a uh, triple stack sooner or later. Let's go here. C6, I just take. I want to go queen before here. Turks invented elephants? Okay. 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 Fair enough. Thank you so much to Hazayan for the prime. Thank you for Trend Tops for the six and Barrow for the six as well. Appreciate it. I don't know when Chess 2 is coming in. No idea. I know. I just feel like, I, I mean, I know at least from like ancient world, like in India at least, like I thought elephants were like, they were considered like the most holy animal or something back in the old days. 
And so I, I mean, I feel like that was the same for like cer certain parts of like uh, the the Ar Arab world as well. Let's play Rook C two and Rook C one. So I don't know. I th I thought so, but maybe I'm just crazy. Thank you so much, Bulu Bulu Harumarat for the prime and current Tondari for the prime as well. I will trade because he can't take with a pawn. Um, oh, bishops are called elephants in Turkish. Oh, I didn't know that either. You learned something new. Yeah. Uh, elephants are still a holy animal? Okay, well, I mean, I, I wouldn't know. Elephants? Really? Okay. Eight million years ago, there were elephants in Turkey? Okay, thank you. Eight million years ago, I'm pretty sure every animal was roaming around, completely free to do whatever, if the world, Earth existed. Yeah, I think that's just a free juicer because I just guard it here. Um, <laughs> every animal was roaming free until this terrible species came along and just started killing them all. In Russian, bishops are also elephants. Okay, big shout out to Anonymous for gifting $500 to the Turkish Philanthropy Fund. Big shout out to Anonymous for the five hundred dollar donation. What are we up to? Eighteen seventy eight. I'll, I'll probably make a donation later if we get close. Uh, okay, let's play e four. Let's keep it simple here. Thanks for Nomad dude. If not, I'll make a donation th during the next five days for sure. Play night c three tomorrow. Also going to be a very long stream. Obviously, it's our typical title Tuesday day, so a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to play queen f two here. This is not actually a very good line. If he knows what he's doing, which it appears he does, I'm already in a little bit of trouble here. I don't know why I played this. This is actually quite dubious. But oh, he goes knight e4. I think knight g4 and bishop c5 is supposed to just be good for black. He plays knight e4, which is interesting. I guess I'll trade and go bishop e3 here. Let's see what the standings are. Team war on 39. I'm on 30. Thank you so much to Dogan Chantakilic for the uh, prime. Thank you so much. Queen d5. I assume play a3, knight e2, also a lodge move. A3 looks. Kind of dank, but I'm going to play it. I, I think my idea is just to play like rook d1 or knight e2, knight c3 immediately. And I go here, knight c3, and I think I'm doing fairly well. I can play bishop d2, knight c3. If bishop b4, I just go bishop d2, of course. This looks pretty good for me. He goes bishop f5, logical. I think I'll play bishop c4. And now once I get castled, I should be better here. Should be better. Also, because once I castle, there's also B4, which is a big threat, whereas right now, it doesn't work. Knight D8. Okay, so he's trying to go C6 and Queen C7. This should not be very good for him. If I can get G4 and somehow I'm just winning. Castle C6. I assume I'm just better here after castle. He's going to go c6 here. I can play b4 and bishop c5. I can also play like bishop e2. Knight e2 actually looks quite convenient with knight g3 to hit the pawn and the bishop at the same time. Um, in, in Persian, bishops are also called elephants and knights are called horses. Wait, what? Knights are called horses? Really? I'm tempted to sack, sack my queen with knight g3 and something, but... Yeah. Probably isn't right. Um, it probably isn't right. I really want to just sack my queen here, but I think it's too much. I really want to, but I, I don't think I can. This guy's pretty good, so like no cap, but he's, he's, he's a pretty good player. Uh, I guess I'll just play knight g3 and queen d2. Oh, whoa, he, go, he doesn't go bishop h4? Wow, I'm sure he'd play bishop h4. What? Okay, now I can take... Um, I'm just going to take... Oh, I should have played b4 first, actually. We'll play rook d1 here. I want to go rook d7 at some moment. Uh, thanks so much to Al Al Three O Al, Al Three Oaks this for the four months. You know, Michiko for the fifty dollars gifted to the Turkish Philanthropy Fund as well. Let's go B four here. Bishop C five, force a trade of the bishops here. 
This looks pretty bad for black. Vishmon f5 isn't really all that well placed. Rooks are called the castle. Queen is called the minister. Uh, pawns are called soldiers. Wow. Bishop h4. Now that doesn't look like a great move, but it's maybe okay. Um, okay, what's his idea? If I just go like queen e3, if he takes, I take. I mean, a lot of dark square weaknesses, I feel like, for black to deal with here. Very hard to believe that he can survive this. All these squares are super weak. And this light square bishop also not very well placed either. B6, logical. I guess I'll go here. I'm going to move the queen to like F7, I guess, or something. Or B7, maybe. I mean, I assume eventually I'm probably winning here, but I still need to stack the pieces in the correct order. It goes to F7. That's what I expected him to do. I think what I need to do also is I need to make sure that I'm playing on the queen side as well. So I'm going to go a4 here. On the h4, I'm going to go queen c3. I'm just trying to play on the queen side because he could try to cast manually castle his king out of the center of the board at some point. All right, now I go here, hit the pawn on c6, queen b7. I think I play a5 here. Right. I kind of expected that. I guess I'll go a6 here. Oh, see, I, again, I misplayed. So I'm going to go h3 now, fix the weakness. I want to go queen e1 and go after the pawn down the road. Thank you so much, Mustafa Falter for the five gifteds. Also, his queen is bad, his rook is not great. Um, bishop c7 doesn't work. I'm just going to play rook d4 and then rook d1 and then maybe queen e1. Thank you so much, old man for the five. Definitely not Casilla for the tier one. It's Michael Fonse. It's Mael Fonseca for the prime. Mustafa for the tier one and Domingo Man for the prime. Now, this doesn't look right. Trying to use his king to bring the king actively into the game. Uh, I guess I'll play rook f1. Why not? I assume that I'm winning, but it's not, not trivial. Okay, I'll go queen e3. Probably taking on e4, almost for sure, next move. If he takes, I check king h5, queen e2 is just winning. He does have rook g3, which of course I didn't see. Wait, but now I check because king h5, queen e2 is gg. King moves, queen takes, game over. All right, guys, I'm going to use the restroom very quickly and we'll be right back. So give me one second. Take, check. Okay, so we get knight c3. This is what we call the um, Verisov. Bishop f5 and a6 are both moves. I'm going to play a6 here to stop knight b5. Thank you so much to Merrickson gun for the prime. Dat 
Datran Der Pearson for the Prime, Al Pengu DLTFT for the Prime, and Nathan Farmer for the Prime. So yeah. Did I talk about Ali Reza? I did um I spoke about it earlier, um, just in, in broad strokes. In Bahadir Ozen, just subscribe. Uh, thanks so much to I am Bahadir Ozen for the tier one. Thanks so much to Bahadir. Somebody I've played against not recently, but somebody I played against a lot in the old days. Thank you to Alperana Kill for the gifted sub. Alperina Kill just subscribed. Now I can play H6, I can also go Bishop D6 as well. I'm trying to figure out if I, I'm worried about H6. I don't think I am, because I think I have G6, but it's hard to judge. Yeah, I mean, I spoke about it in broad strokes. As far as Ali Reza intending to um, pursue fashion or something along those lines, uh, it's understandable. He He's probably a little bit burned out from so much chess at such a young age. Totally understandable. Um, so I understand why he would be interested in that. Um, on the other hand, however, the real, the real question, sort of the million-dollar question, as I would put it at the end of the day, is will Ali Reza regret it if in like 10 years he, he looks at his life and he like has a normal job in fashion? And he's not playing chess. Will he reg will he regret or think about the what ifs? If the answer to that question is no, then I think it's complete. It's a great choice. If he is going to have those thoughts though, down the road, I do think it's it's questionable whether it's the right decision. I'm gonna play e5 here, open up the center. Silver Arrow 77 just subscribed. All right, so. No, I mean, he's saying he's going to do both. Um, but at some point, you can't do both is what I'm saying. Like, it's just not possible. You have to, you have to make a decision. Um, so that's really the big question. It's a big question mark. Um, what he does. Now, it, it, again, it's not going to affect him right now. To be very clear, like if he, if he takes, um, I mean, if he takes like six months off and he doesn't play any chess or takes a year or two years off, still should not affect him. But I would say if he takes more than like two years away, it will affect him and he'll become just another run of the mill 2750 type player. Um, so you do have to keep that in mind. Now, can I play d4 here? Takes and queen e2, dc5. An interesting thought. At some point, you can't do Bob. <laughs> a good one. No, I think I can play D4. Because after takes, 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 I just go Queen E6 and Queen C6. Things are Yoko M for the five months, Mappy Keller for the tier one, Silver Arrow for the tier one. It plays Queen D2, which I don't really like. Um, I think I just go Rook F8, because on E4, I can actually sack. I just take and take, and this is turning into a disaster. Now, Anish played, but he only played one game. He played against me, and then I... Did he withdraw? Did he only play one game against me? Maybe. He says he caro top is 3,000 perch. No, no, no. I'm talking 2750 over the board. I'm not talking online ratings. I'm talking over the board. So I take on E2. Queen F4. I'll just go here. Offer the trade of the queens. I mean, everything is winning here, but it's... I guess I'll just go here, offer the queen trade again. I mean, c4 is good. I, I think I'm just going to go d3 and d2. Highest views ever on stream is something insane. I think it's 84,000. I don't know why I did this, actually. It's kind of silly, but it's still probably winning. Mm-hmm. What am I eating? I'm just eating a bar because I'm a little bit hungry. Play E4 here.
Let's take with the queen. We're playing Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Knight c6, just bishop b5. Yeah! Things over to the tap tap man for the prime. The tap tap man just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Go bishop g5 here. I guess I'll castle play queen d3, all very standard so far. But yeah, for Ali Reza, I mean, it's not going to matter right now because he's so young, he's so talented that a little bit of time off won't change anything. But if he takes much more than about a year and a half, two years, his chest will suffer. There's no doubt about that. Play knight d4 here. I think it's always a breed as galore for the 28 months. Let's go king b1. Just subscribe. Go f4, f5, I guess. Um, trying to attack here on the... Inside B5, I think I can trade and go E5, which should be very strong. Hmm. This looks wrong. Um, attack the knight. Let's eat the juicer. Interesting how there's 20k people in the chat seems to have slowed down. Chat is not always super fast. Um, Queen c5, very, very good move. I'll go back. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know with Ali Reza what it is. Whether it's like fashion model, it's like fashion designer, what he's interested in. I mean, very hard to know um, what's going on. But like I said, the, the biggest, the single biggest thing that's important to note. I can trade. I mean, I can play an end game here, which is not all that bad. Rook f4 actually looks like a better choice, though. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what his plans are, what's going on. But as long as he's happy with the decision, I don't think you can fault him too much for that. I mean, the only reason you can fault him um, is, you know, if, for example, he tries to pursue fashion, whatever it might be in a serious way, it doesn't work out. And then, you, you know, he's left like not really having a job and his chest has like gone downhill because of it. Okay, now I can play f6 here. Like knight f3 is a strong move. Hitting the queen, I get knight d5. Next move is good. He has such an amazing talent. Of course, Ali Reza is an ext extremely talented player. Oh, did I blunder this? I kind of did. I can still actually... No, I can't. Because then it's... Uh, I take... It's actually... Oh, do I have rook d3 maybe? Because the knight covers e1. I mean, I'm a little bit lucky here. The rooks kind of cover all the critical squares. I think I can actually go like I go here and now suddenly it's like call the ambulance but not for me like I think black's getting like checkmated almost go here yeah this is suddenly a call the ambulance but not for me situation here for black go g6 again wait if I play uh ah wait no I made a mistake actually wasn't the right way to play this but actually I did misplay this quite a bit or did I would have queen b8 maybe it's still very tricky um queen to b8 is a move but it doesn't mate so I guess I'll just go here queen b4 just rook b3 or king c1 I might lose this game, but it's very, very double edged because I have Queen B8 and a mate threat lurking. See what he does. Hmm. 
Very, very tricky position here. Where are people reading the news about Ali Reza? He was on a Twitch stream the other day and he commented on it. So that's what everyone's basing it off of uh, when they talk about the topic. Again, who knows? Who knows if like that's 100% the reality, but that's what people are saying. So yeah, 95, that looks wrong. Um, do I have rook c7 with like queen? Oh, rook c7 might be a beautiful trick. Um, I'm going to go. For, it's, it's almost too beautiful not to play it. Oh, does it have knight d3? Wait. Um, wait, I, if I take, I block and I'm safe. He takes, I trade and I'm safe. Yeah, this is winning. I can also throw in the tickle. I think I tickle, tickle. Yeah, I throw in the tickle here. He goes up, he gets mated. He blocks, his check. He goes back, he gets mated on D8. Yeah, it's just multiple mating ideas. Thank you so much to Clodger for the prime and Chapinho for the prime. Thank you so much to Chapinho. For the prime. Okay, we get Timur Rajabov with the black pieces. Um, let's play G6. If I win this game, I think I win the arena most likely. Timur is on a bit of a streak. Let's play A6. I think Ali Reza's situation is similar to yours when you turn her back on chess. Yeah, now like I said, when I did that, that was a very short period of time. It was about half a year. Um, and it did not affect me. Now, if Ali Reza just takes like six months to a year off, no big deal. But if it gets to about two years or more that's going to be too much. That, that's just my read. I, again, I could be completely wrong, but if you guess it two years or more, that's where it's going to be a big problem. I don't even know why I played Chief. I could just play like classic. Show Rajbob who the boss is. I will try to, but... Okay, I want to stop him from rotating the knight to g3. That's why I put the bishop on b7 here. Bishop e3. Interesting move. Um, I guess I'll just go knight e7 here. Because he can't go knight e2. Knight h2. Interesting choice. Uh, I'll play knight g6 to just stop f4. You have a job other than chess and you're doing well, so I guess he could too. Little bit different, you guys. Little, little bit different. Um, also because frankly, there's a little bit that I do know about fashion. If I'm being honest, fashion is not something where you get like a stable, you, you get a stable income. I feel like it's one of those jobs where it's very much based on your performance. You have to do really, really good stuff in order to make a lot of money. Otherwise, um, otherwise you don't, I could be wrong on that, of course, but the little bit that I know, it's not something where you just get like a, you get a good salary. It's like, you have to be like a really, really good designer. You have to sell stuff in order to make, make good money. Kind of like chess. Yeah, it is actually quite a bit like chess. Except in chess, once you get to a certain level, you're 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 doing fine. I mean, Ali Reza is like top five in the world. Like, is the supply chain industry profitable? I don't know. I don't know. Also, I feel like it's a lot like a startup, if I'm not mistaken. Either where like you have to, you basically start out and you try to create a line, you try to do these things, but it's very capital intensive, unless I'm mistaken. Thank you a bit of Fokaya for the tier one. Eclipse for the prime. Bowler CS go for the 33. Thank you so much. I could have played C5 too, I guess. He goes 92. Logical move. Um. Oh, I missed 92. Aha. Um... I guess I'll just play d5 here. I don't, I don't really want to do this, but if he gets a knight to h5, I'm in trouble. Probably he goes back. We trade. I go queen f5, and it's likely going to be a draw. Whoa. Um. Oh, actually, I didn't even see e5. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't even see that as a move. Um. I could maybe sack material here to try and spice it up. But I don't know, queen f5 looks like the right play. It's going to go bishop d3, we're going to trade. I'm going to play like knight e7 and c5. And I can also play knight h4 maybe. Knight h4 is a very weird move, but it might be good. Because knight e7 he maybe gets g3, f4. I think I'm going to go for it. Because as long as he can't go g3, I'm fine. But if he gets g3 and f4, I'm in a lot of trouble. So I have to try to break the structure instantly before he can play it. Because knight g3 is expected. 
Do I play c5 and force a trade, or do I go f6? My assumption is f6 is right. Do I take with the rook or the bishop? I assume I take with the bishop here. Not that it makes a difference, but just knight h5 is no tempo. I guess I'll go rook a e8 here. And if he takes, I just take back, and I'm doing great. F4, I just take, and I'm fine. I'm probably losing here if he plays it correctly, but who cares? Not me. Yay! I mean, he can go C3 too, I guess. Just took $5 out of you could also take, in which case I pre-move it. I think there's a GG Grimo for the Prime, Fibshiba for the Tier 1, and, and uh, Bumpy for the 11 months as well. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, all right, he goes F3, which is one of the moves that I kind of thought he might do. Uh, I'd love to play e5, but it doesn't work. I guess I'll go bishop e7 here. At least with f3, there's no g3 to trap the knight, because this pawn will always be way too weak. Now, I can play bishop b4 to force c3 or bishop d6. I assume I go to d6, just because I assume he consolidates the center there. Otherwise, now if I go... Oh, I can't go e5. Whoops. Uh, Wait, maybe I can go c5? Which might be a mistake. I think it... Uh, maybe not. Because I guess C4 I take and go E5. And D4, E4. Jonas David just I mean, you can also just go C3. The air quality tournament Hikaru. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> thank you. Position's not very good here. Um, I can go C4. I can also just play rookie 7, rookie 8. Pretty ugly position. Pretty, pretty, pretty ugly for me. Um, I think about what I can do here to confuse the matter. E5 is a move. Just subscribe. Have a great Monday. E5, C4, maybe? Okay, let's go for it. Let's play E5. Oh, he ta Oh, I'm sure he would play like Bishop G3 or something. He just does this. Okay. Just take. Oh, is this just losing? Oh, I'm just losing here. Oh, this just is no good. I thought this was working. Oh, this just loses. I didn't even... Oh, why did I do that? I should have used more time. I had a feeling there was some something going on when he didn't play instantly. Oh, okay. Let's just go here. Bugatti underscore juicer just took five dollars. Yeah, I mean, I, ha I have really have nothing here. I just move and pray. Okay. Trying to go. Oh, wait, I hung another pawn too. I didn't. <laughs> okay, maybe I can still create some weird trick though. I have rook d2. Um, oh, I don't even have a trick here, do I? Actually, where's my rook? Oh, or, oh, whoops, that was just a slip. But I'm losing anyway. That was a slip. Yeah. Rook h1, rook h7 is still checkmate. Probably e5 is too much. I, I mean, maybe I had some chance in the middle game to, to just be a little bit more solid, but it's what it is. Let's play c5 here, d6. Trade, knight f6. Oh, thanks so much to Bugatti. Just thank you, Porta. Thank you, Jonas. David, thank you, Valdomino. Thank you, One Noise. Thank you, Knight Game E for the prime. Thank you, O'Quinn for the 20 gifted subs. And no, I would have lost anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, let's play this this line. Check, takes, and, and 94. You could have won on time. No, there's increment, you guys. I would have won that game without increment, but with increment, no. No, no chance. Go A6 here. Stock market is green today. I have not been following the stock market very closely. Um, yeah, it looks green. Doesn't look super green. Looks relatively green. Um, Google down again. Tesla down finally. So, eh, it's what it is. Play 97 here. Trades in pieces. How was I losing? Because he's up a bunch of pawns there. Microsoft is up big. Uh, I didn't. I don't follow Microsoft super closely. At least not last week or so. Oh, it's up. It's up another three percent. Jeez. Let's go B six and Bishop B seven. Wow, people really, really buying into the hype. It's gonna be interesting to see people really buying into the ch Chat GPT hype. Um, I guess I will just castle here. I have three good move. Um, or wait, no, not a good move. I just trade. 
go um, here, maybe? New way of searching the internet. Like I said, it doesn't change anything substantially. I mean, it, it, it is something that's important, but I've spoken to a few people, um, few people about it that I know who, who do stuff along these lines. And everything I've heard is, yes, it is something that's important, but it's not something that's like changing the world. And, and, and the media is just going bananas with it like they do with everything else. And um, yeah. Also, frankly, if it was what everyone, what the media wants it to make it out to be, then, then the world is over anyway. So it doesn't matter. Um, let's go. I can play F6 maybe. Go here and trade, I guess. I mean, it is a big deal, but it's not, it's not changing the world. Let's put it that way. Um, I will go here and trade the rooks. You have no idea if you think it's not transforming business. I mean, when you make it sound like it's like the end all be all that's like massively going to change the world, it's not going to happen tomorrow, maybe in like five or 10 years, but not, not overnight. Huge Magnus Twitter post. I'm going to assume that's a troll. Uh, let's go here and bring the kings, kings in the board. I'm going to assume that's a troll. Because I feel like 20 people would have said something if it... Could I be losing here? <laughs> I, I just assume because he had double pawns, I can't be losing. I maybe could be losing, possibly. It's a troll. Okay, now do I play a5 or not? I actually don't know why I did this. It's kind of insane to me. I guess I'll go a5 here. I don't want to trade. This is all about the tempos here. I guess I'll go here. And I have e5. This is going to be very tricky. This is going to come down to whether I have enough tempos versus the h pawn in an end game. I'm not sure. King e4. I could play b5 here. Takes, takes. I mean, this is with increments. So I, I'm going to... No, but I don't want to go b5. So let's go here. I'm trying to get some cheeky b5 in if I can, but... Maybe I can't actually. Hmm. Maybe this is actually just a draw. Although, wait, no, I have e5, maybe? Let's go e5. Very tricky. Did I win the first title Tuesday today? Today is Monday. There is no title Tuesday. There might be some trick where I can create wide peepos here somehow as well. He plays h4. Now I can play h5 here. I can also go king e6, which is important, just to delay. Here, here takes. I, I can't calculate. Okay, let's just go here. I, I just want to delay. I, I don't want to rush moves here. I mean, maybe I can even create an outside pawn here, but this is very, it's very, very hard to judge. I mean, it's just a matter of counting the tempos. I take, go here. H5, A4, H6, A, wait, am I winning or losing? Here, 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 takes, takes, here. H5, A4, H6, A3, H7, A2. <sighs> okay, wait, this is, I go G5. No, this should be winning. I know this has to be winning. I just have an outside pawn. You know, the runs of Viviana, they get an annoying mouse. It should be winning. Takes, takes. Yeah, I, I win this. I win. We win these. Still very tricky, though. Very, very tricky. I think H5 is the only attempt to win, but I think G4 here, 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 here. Takes, here, here, here. H takes, H4 here, A3, H6, A2, H7, A1. A1, I win by a tempo. Yeah. Thank you so much to Krishu for the prime. Yeah, so G4, King E4 takes here, 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 F5, B5, G6, A4 takes, A3, G6, A2, H6, A1, H7. You win by a tempo, yes. Yeah, I'm winning. 
I think it's a master of hilarity for the 23 months. I think it's a master of hilarity. Now, with pawn on h6, I basically check the king. So here, threaten checkmate in one. There we go. Next game. Playing Ecos. Uh, so we're probably going to get second. Well, I guess if I win, maybe third. Um, bro thinks he's Hikaru. Yeah, that was good. G6. And maybe C5, D5 here. What time is it in the USA and Turkey? Is 22.44? Yeah. Good D6. Knight BD7 and E5 here. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's play e5. Let's just take. Oh, let's go c6. Maybe just castle's next move. Just castle. So play a5 here. Maybe queen e7 and then knight c5 next move. Or actually, no, h6 first and then knight c5. Thank you so much to Mike the Anomaly for the prime. Thank you so much to Mike the Anomaly. Appreciate it. Knight b3. Now I could take, I could also play g5 here. Uh, I'm, I think I'm just going to trade and play as simplistically with bishop e6 and knight c7, knight c5. Do I like chicken? Yes, of course I do. Who doesn't like chicken? I think I'm McIntyre for the two months. Okay, so I'm going to go rook d8, go after the knight. It's going to go knight c4 here, which could be kind of annoying. Um, so I'll go bishop e7, maybe bishop c5. Position's about equal here. It's fairly balanced. Uh, I will trade and go b5 here. Now on takes, takes, I start to get some push on the on the uh on the queen side do i like duck uh i've had duck um like thai i think thai food they have duck right yeah um i guess i'll take with the b shop and play like rook b8 it's gonna be very hard to win this game though i don't really have a great position but i do have a good bishop at least the queen c4 to my drop back just guard everything Pawn is a little bit soft here on b2. A little bit soft. I'm going to go queen c8 to trade off the queens here. Apple or a pear? I, I mean, potatoes, everybody likes potatoes. Because everybody likes potato chips, obviously. You mean elephant, not bishop today? Okay, fair enough, yeah. Do I like fish sticks? Is fish sticks what you eat as a kid? Is that like the, um, is fish sticks what you eat as like a kid when you're like 10 years old? I think so. What are your stream times? I'm streaming tomorrow. I'm streaming Wednesday. I think I'm streaming Thursday. I think actually I'm streaming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, this, uh, this, um, this, this, this week. So quite a bit. It's a joke from South Park. Oh, okay. Dude, whatever. Like you guys, like I, I'm too old to, for the, I'm too old for all this fancy schmancy boomer stuff, like new age stuff. Like I'm sorry, I, I don't, I don't watch these things. Okay, like let's go here. Now I create a wooden shield here. I've got a great bishop, very, very well placed. I can go a4 maybe because takes I have rook b2. Let's go here. Uh, it's got 93, which I didn't see, of course. I guess I'll go h5 to stop any funky business with h5 and knight f5 and g4. But you are a streamer. You have to know. I'm sorry, you guys. I am what I am. And um, that ain't changing. That ain't changing. Sorry. I could have checked and played rook b1 maybe too. Why are many GMs changing the Federation to America? Because it's America. We're the land of the free. You have better opportunities. You have a better life. What more does anybody want? 
let's play rook a2 here thank you so much to pinal for the prime thank you so much to Taza for the nine months yeah what are my thoughts on magnus with chess bras i mean i i assume there's probably a reason he didn't want to um didn't want to play for uh for the norway team i mean i really don't know honestly i'm assuming there's a reason but uh I mean, it's it's all good. I mean, if if you're expecting me to be like, oh man, I'm really angry. He's playing with the chess bras. Uh, eh, that that isn't it. That just is not it. Let's go rook a three. Oh rook a ah, he's got no. He doesn't have knight f five. Whoops. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. I have f five too. Thanks for Sir Dark for the twenty dollars. Thanks for Sir Dark for gifting twenty dollars to um the uh the Turkish philanthropy fund. Now I can play Queen E four, but I think that's a draw, or is it? I assume it's a draw, so I'm gonna take with the pawn. I could have checked first too, I suppose, but do I like kebab? Of course I love kebab. Who doesn't love kebab? Everybody loves kebab. You'd be tripping if you think that I don't like kebab. Everybody loves kebab. Am I nervous about playing Magus? Yes, you guys. I'm so nervous. So nervous. So nervous. Thank you. Let's play King H5 here. <laughs> Go here, win the juicer, and end the game. <laughs> Let's take. Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly. That was epic. It was something, yeah. Yay! If I win this game, we'll get to uh, 51. So this could be a big game, too. Here's a gom gom pie for the 17 months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's play c4. Let's go queen d2, knight c3, or bishop b2. Someone's going to clip that. Yeah, you know somebody's going to clip that, right? I don't know any... I don't really know any Turkish. I only know Teşekkürler. And, of course, I've had the pizza. Uh, what's it? Atmek Etli, right? That's the pizza. I will say, speaking of Turkey, though, um, they do have, in my opinion, the best lounge in the entire world. Their, uh, their Star Gold Lounge at the airport in Istanbul is probably the best lounge in the world, in my opinion. Maybe there's something better in, like, Singapore or somewhere, but uh, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's Etli Ekmek. Oh, I, get, I got the order wrong. Etli Ekmek. Okay. Yeah. Do I like... Qatar Qatar Airways is better. Maybe it is. I mean, I, I wouldn't know really. Let's go Queen E3 here. But in general, yeah, like the pizza is good, kebab is good, sumac is amazing with just about anything. So um it's all good. Yay! Thank you so much to Lenmark for the Prime and Owen Santa. Appreciate Owen Santa it. Just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. I'm gonna go A3 and B4, kick the night out of town, basically. Why did I allow... Actually, this was kind of stupid. I should have played Rook D5 too, but whatever. I guess I'll go here, keep an eye on the pawns. Maybe Bishop F1. Uh, is that just GG? Oh, he's got Knight D4. Ack. I missed Knight D4. If only I'd put the Queen on H, this would have been winning. We'll go back to F1. Drop back, because now the knight's a little bit loose on d4 also. A little bit loose. I think there's a riot, riot, riot for the prime, Posiba TV for the 21, and Sampa Chung for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. What languages do I know? O only English. Only English that I'm fluent in. Why I take the queen? Because if I take the queen, he takes my bishop with a fork of the king and the queen. <coughs> okay, now it goes b5, which is interesting. Um, feels a little bit wrong somehow to me. I think I'm just going to play this. Oh, I should have played b4 first. I should have played b4 with the pawns on the board. Oh, wait, no. Queen here, I still have a4, maybe. 
Wait, no, I still have a4 and b5 and queen e3 with a pin. Still a little bit tricky here. Got to move the knight somewhere. Queen e3 is e5. I go rook b4 to move. Actually, I kind of like it as a move. I think it's pretty solid. Knight c2, I just take. If e5, I win the pawn. And if I can get this pawn rolling up the board, I have good chances to win here. No guarantee that I can, but I have chances at least. So, all good. Thank you so much to Cube Craze for the eight months. Thank you so much to Cube Craze. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Cube Craze for the, uh, for the resub. My man is thinking forever here. Goes knight c6? Wait, now I have rook d6. Wait a second. Cube crazy no, but take six, rook d8. Five. I go knight a4, queen a5. I mean, I'm just going to play simple chess with rook takes a4 Price here. Just now I also have rook a6 or something. Yeah, I think I go here, force him to trade. I'm getting this outside wing pawn that could be a big issue for black down the road. This could be a big issue. I also have knight b5. I should be winning if I'm smart here, but I think I'm going to go rook b1, then rook b7, I guess. Rook b7 seems like a completely reasonable move here. Try to go after this pawn, maybe f4 somewhere. b5, okay, I'll take, he takes. He's trying to go d4. Um... 94, d3. I mean, I do have rook b5, which is a move. I think it's a good move. I take... I don't know how he guards everything here. Yeah, he can't guard it. He's got to go like queen e8, but then I take, 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 and I'm just winning. Yeah, there's no safety. I take, take. This should be simply winning. I'm just going to go f3 to consolidate. Let's go check. And if I take... Hmm. Rook d5, f4. It's the wrong color pawn, which kind of is annoying. But whatever, let's go for it. I can also go g4. Oh, but g4, g5 maybe. I actually am a little bit skeptical as to why I did this, but this should be good. Let's go here. Now I get h4, knight g5, and this should just be pretty clean. Should be winning after takes. Oh, wait, if I take e as rook b5, tricky. I guess I'll just drop back and play a simple. Okay, this should be winning now because I win the pawn, I think. Rook b2, I just take. Yeah, it's just winning. Okay, resigns, and we got the win. Oh, it doesn't count? <laughs> did he resign, or did it, it didn't count? That's hilarious. Okay, that's pretty funny. He stalled it out so the game didn't count. That's actually pretty funny. Um, I have to admit that. I, I, I like the style to uh, do that. One second, sorry. Um, what did I just do? All right, yeah, that, that was actually really, really funny. Um, really funny. All right, so we end up finishing.